Hello, we're glad to have Ruslan Fazliev of Equid here. Ruslan will be speaking at here at TechRanch Moscow in just a couple of hours. So uh, could you say a few words about what you're going to be talking about? Well, uh, I'll be sharing some of my uh, bootstrapping experience. I've been doing this stuff for uh, 13 years, and uh, I was very fortunate to uh, be on uh, both sides of uh, you know, uh, finding the startups. I mean, I was both uh, bootstrapping and then uh, growing a venture-backed company. And I think these uh, di uh, experiences differ a lot. So I want to Which do you enjoy more? Well, I think uh, I'm more of a bootstrapping type of guy. So uh, I'm more comfortable with that. But then uh, growing in a venture-backed uh, mode, it's uh, more challenging. Uh, you need way faster growth rates. And that's exciting. I, I, I like it now. What Equity, do you consider equity to be venture backed or you bootstrap it at the beginning for quite a while, didn't you? Yeah, uh, equity is, uh, it, it was a bootstrapped company, but now uh, I was in venture backed mode for uh, so long that uh, yeah, it sure is a venture backed company. And do you, do you have 40 people in equity right now? Yeah, uh, right? 44. 44, and um, where, where, where would you say is this threshold? Be between being a small company and being a large company? Do you still have the same company culture? Is it different from when you were five or six people? I think uh, threshold is uh, about 50 people roughly. So uh, we're uh, still uh, fairly small. Actually, 50 people is small, 100 people is small. Uh, but uh, there surely is a uh, culture change at uh, 50. Are you expecting to be a 100 or 200 people company? Oh, yeah, uh, even more than that. But when do you think that's going to happen? So, uh, three years from now. So, in three years, you're going to be uh, 200 people operations worldwide. Wow. Yeah. That, that's pretty impressive. And but, uh, as long as we're here at TechCrunch, a lot of startups here see TechCrunch as a unique PR opportunity for themselves. Do, do you enjoy promoting your startup at conferences or exhibitions? Well, uh, I think it's uh, something that uh, every founder should care about. Uh, the uh, public uh, you know, a perception of the company and uh, uh, spreading the, war, uh, the board. So is, is, it the, is it the founder's job to do this? Or do, I don't know, do you need a maybe PR agency or a PR department within your company? Well, uh, having a PR uh, department uh, surely doesn't uh, hurt, and we do have a kind of freelance uh, PR person working for us, but uh, no PR uh, uh, person uh, will be able to uh, translate and communicate the company DNA and values uh, unless uh, the founder and the core team does this first. So, uh, uh, PR guy can only uh, facilitate that. Do you have a PR agency? Yeah, uh, we have uh, a US based uh, PR agency working for Equit for, for any, quite a while. Any now. life hacks for, uh, for getting most out of your involvement with the, with the PR company? Well, uh, I would say uh, focus on a, a interesting story, something that people would uh, enjoy hearing and uh, uh, you know, uh, live an interesting life, uh, do exciting things. So basically, uh, if, if your uh, business is uh, uh, doing something really exciting, then surely there is a way for uh, people to enjoy it. That's great. Uh, do, do, do you think all your 40 employees enjoy working for Equid? Oh, yeah, absolutely. And uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of companies, a lot of young aspiring entrepreneurs here at TechCrunch are looking for teammates or are looking to get more, get more experienced professionals to join their, their companies. Do you, do you think this is a viable option, seeking for talent here at TechCrunch? Or where do you, do you find talent for Equid? Uh, well, we are uh, always open to hire uh, geniuses, so uh, if you are... Where do you find them? Uh, 
it, it kind of happens. It, it depends on uh, on the profile. So uh, you're obviously approach uh, searching for uh, uh, coder or a business executive uh, very differently. So uh, we have an uh, HR person uh, looking for talent, and uh, we can use LinkedIn ads in the US. We will surely. Uh, uh, leverage the networking uh, when we search for people. For people. Uh, now, uh, we also are uh, quite active on uh, the social media. And generally, uh, in my town, when I, uh, when I see some people who are really, really engaged in social media on uh, topics that are relevant to us, <laughs> I will most likely reach out to them and try to hire them. You know, the moment they, they start following me, uh, you know, uh, if I like They're the person, converted. I with them. Well, uh, hopefully so. Uh, that uh, doesn't happen uh, all the time, but uh, I surely I'm reaching out pretty often. And, and speaking of the life cycle of your company, at what point do you need a, an HR person to, to handle all the rec recruitment? We had one shared uh, with my other company from uh, kind of day one. Uh, but if I have to remember uh, when I uh, hired the HR person first time, that was when we were at about uh, 20 people. And I would say uh, there are uh, you know, not many jobs that are more important than having a proper uh, HR guy because after all, uh, all of your success is the team and, and the people. So uh, you need to make sure that uh, your uh, HR guy is a real superstar. Great, and uh, as long as we're in TechCrunch, just to wrap up, what, what is your secret to, to getting, be most effective at conferences like at TechCrunch? How, how do you behave to get the, to get the most, uh, the, the, the best results out of your participation in an industry conference? Well, you need to define precisely what, what do you want from, from the conference. And I think uh, that on most of the conferences, uh, expectations are sometimes uh, a little bit, uh, you know, blown out of proportion. So we <laughs> need to make sure that there is a huge reason uh, to attend the conference. And TechCrunch is uh, definitely a good place to attend. So now, uh, once you define a goal and you know how, how to approach the goal, you do this stuff and then leave as early as, as possible. <laughs> okay, guys. So you here visiting TechCrunch or watching us online, pay attention to that. Thank you very much. This was Ruslan Fazli of Equid from TechCrunch Moscow. Yeah. Thank you. Tech Crunch.